Welcome everyone, how are you doing? I'm your host Malgaris and today we're moving on to the 8th mission of the Brutoir Protoss campaign, Countdown. Main Protoss base, the planet Shakuras. What you got? This entire chain of events has been masterminded by Kerrigan. And we played right into her hands. Yes, we did, Artemis. Yet our course is set, nonetheless. Using the Temple's energies against the Renegade Zerg may accomplish Kerrigan's aims, but it is still our only chance of survival. And survive we will, my warriors. For too long have we labored in futile defense, as our enemies push us further and further away from victory. The time has come to let loose the full fury of our powers. Never again shall Shakuras be despoiled by the foul touch of alien species. These Zerg shall be the first to fall before us. Matriarch, I have served you for many millennia. I have always valued your wisdom and strength. Yet, lately, in your mind, I have sensed something that clouds your true spirit. Though Kerrigan has gone, I wonder if her treachery still remains. Be at ease, Zeratul. I am still the same Rashagal you have always known. These recent events have weighed heavily upon me, and I am wearied. But fear not. My warrior spirit will shine before you and light your path to victory. Indeed. The time for action is upon us. The crystals must be taken to the temple while the Zerg still muster their forces. I shall carry the Urash myself, while Zeratul handles the callus. Executor, you shall provide escort for Artanis and Zeratul as they make their way to the temple. God's willing, we will channel the energies of the Zelnaga and scour this world clean of the Zerg. Go now, my children, and know that the survival of our entire race depends upon your actions. Alright, and Rashigal is down to fight. And so are we. When you bring the crystals to the temple, the Zerg will surely send all their legions to destroy you. You must be prepared to protect the temple itself from the swarm. Understood. Well, let's start by building up an eco. Oh, we got a lot of starting minerals for this one. Let's do this. I think it's very cool that like Phoenix's uh, portrayal is still on screen, even though we haven't seen like we haven't seen him for like seven, eight, six missions at this point. Okay, let's get some ground weapons up, and you start building assimilators. Right, we're going. We're going to need maximum economy. Do you have a? No, you don't. You don't have a gas geyser. You address me. Okay, Sartil, please start scouting. But you, guys, and minerals. I'm going to just build a second forge. I'm going to build over here because that does not get in the way of our economy. And keep growing the probes. Alright then. Let's improve our drug in the tech range and start building another gateway. I'm not sure what for a composition we're going to go for, but I'm assuming we're going to have to invade this location. Cleanse of the Zerg. Cleanse of the Zerg forces. Wait, where's our tanks? Am I like flying again? Feels like I am, so. <laughs> Oh, I am uh, moving out of the way. Okay, so, yeah, you guys get minerals. Okay, we got a good income going. Just uh, keep building up over here. Direct my wrath. Okay. Let's grab you. Place a pylon down here. And grab the crystals. We're going to put these two probes to gas and keep upping the mineral production on this side. Let's scout a few guys. 
It's a pretty big map, despite it might seem a little smaller due to like the border manipulation on the minimap. But I don't think it's sh it's a wise idea to rely on this. Oh, it's actually a really big map. Let's keep scanning a few guys. And move on down here. Yeah, we are nearing the enemy base. Oh, they got a few second colonies over there. So they're pretty well entrenched. So if you build a phone can over here, and you build a few phone cans over here, they might have a base somewhere in this vicinity. Let's keep using Zerto to scout. Put you in minerals and advance our technology. Build a robotics bay and build a second one over here. I think heavy mech will be our way to go. Alright, we need to try out for this one to upgrade our current troops to maximum level. Oh, it's still overdoing. Oh, we got a Twilight Council, Council already. What are you doing here? Yeah, they're probably going to drop some troops over here, so let me just uh, preemptively build a few cans. And I'm a bit paranoid for this mission. I still have to upgrade salt speed, yes I do. Okay, so far so good. Stay your will. Let's keep using Zer to discuss. So be it. I do this for iron. Because an attack wave came from this side, so let's see if there's a base. Be done. So be it. More base, 100 iron. damage. I will upgrade it to do 1% extra. Be done. So be it. It will be done. So be it. Yeah, you can. Okay, no, 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 no. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. So be it. We are going to need a frontal force to deal with that threat. Can you move out of there? Nice. Wait a second, if they got drones... Oh, we could try some hypnosis action extra. Your orders, oh, what are you doing here? Okay, maybe I should I cross this bridge and see what's up over here. So be it. Stay your will. I think I'm going to invest in a big salt army for this one. Because I can love minerals, but not love gas income. I hope this one's optimized. No, it's not. Ah, it's just not optimized. Okay, I'm going to put some more probes in there. Oh. And the forces. Let's just do some clever microwave. Fall back to our photon cannon. To make these casualties. And proceed to get shot. And Zertul is a bit mm. out too, so let's move him back to base. Let's pull you guys to the back so you don't get as the targets. Yes, I know that. Zertul, so why are you coming back? Please come back to this location, we need you to protect us. Oh, they're going for the pile. Could have a bastard. That's a very sloppy defense on my part, I will admit that. Let's get these knives out. Well, lost that one. Man, these mutilisks, uh, hydrolisks do hit hard. Now we lost some tech point, that's okay, our economy remains relatively un... Uh, actually, it, did, it didn't get touched at all. But that red Zerg is becoming a threat quicker and quicker, so... Okay, for Dark Templar. And okay, once again, so we can build... No, it's unpowered. After that upgrade, I'm going to go for the hypnosis upgrades, or the mind control upgrade rather. I'll build a few more fort cannons. Because I do think there is a base in the bottom left, if we can destroy that, that will at least cripple their offense and their harassment. Or I could just be a complete player. 
you have to really not like this. Fall back to the fucking cans and try to oh. Was a little late on draw though. Please finish on time. Okay, never mind. Well, that's not good. Oh boy. They are picking up what I'm putting down. Okay, uh, first of all, let's combine you two. Ah, oh, great. You guys are learning. I know the red Zerg is really starting to take me off at this point, so I have to plans at a quarter sooner than later. Oh god, I don't I knew it. My colony is really weakened by these constant attacks. That's alright. Let's just uh, send this scouting party in there and see what we can do. Press the A for attack. Artans, you join you join this one. Focus on those spine crawlers. Fall back for tennis. If you die, this mission is lost. Well, that did some damage. Okay, we took out some static defense, which would recede the creep a little bit. Which is pretty great. As for you, build more probes, you can restore our mineral economy. Get back to our queue. Okay, I'm off to a rocky start, I'm not gonna lie. I do have some gas in the bank though. Our Dennis, where are you? Oh, here you are. And I think an observatory will be essential to uh, produce the necessary technology to protect ourselves against those lurkers. Because boy, they do be hitting hard in this one. This is not enough. These are not enough guns to uh, deal with any sort of attack. So let's just build a few more to be sure. And let's move on down. Jared, where are you? I thought I pulled you back somewhere. Oh, there are other upgrades options, plasma shields and armor. My life for uh, shields seem to deplete very quickly. So I'll be able to... Oh, it's not one of their attacks. If they keep beating in, in small groups like that, we should not have to... A too big for profit. Okay, now that's a bit bigger. Please target the ranged ones. Oh. oh nice, put them up. Yeah, about the support of those Hydrolisks, their damage output has been severely weakened. So let's take out this little uh, static structure place and pump out dragoons and cells from this side. My idea is to hypnotize a drone. With a mind control a drone, maybe we can set up our own hive cluster for this one. Okay, that would be really cool. Okay, this will make this passage a little safer. And can you give us a few observers? Okay, let's see what's up here. Oh, so be it. a few Entire dangerous creatures. Not maybe I'm going to like hypnotize an ultralisk on the way as well. Oh no! I did not mean for that to happen actually. That's okay. Can we slice up this queen's nest? 
Uh oh. Never mind, never mind. Sorry, sorry, didn't mean to do that. Okay, just sli slice a bit overlord, no problem. Oh, you sound like me when I <laughs> forgot when I uh, drink some monster energy. Must have energy! Okay, let's just shoot down these overlords. We don't seem to have any armor upgrades yet, so I'm not too worried. Can we slowly peel? I think this base has been weakened enough so that we can engage, actually right now. So let's do that with this force. Artanis, can you back him up? Dark Archon follow close behind this weekend. Pretty much a drone. Alright, oh, observer. But, uh, uh oh. Okay. Press C for my control. Oh no, 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 no. Don't revolt now, workers. I think they know what's going on and they don't want it to happen. Okay, we're going to clear out this base and then just place our high cluster right upon it. Oh, don't worry, you guys are too late. I got one of your droids now. Let's meet you guys the Dark Archons. Looks like Orange Zerg is joining the party. Now move in and target this base. Oh, this is not good. This action is very good. So let's put some other guns. You pull some potent cans. That fire will go by us a little bit of time. Okay, do I start to... Oh, chill not there, are we? Oh, the gas guys are... I'm not, going to, I'm not going to say no to that, of course. Now the wizard goons come out. And I can target them down one. Great lesk at a time. Upgrade armor and upgrade weapons. Oh, they are relentless. They really don't want me to have this base, do they? Yeah, we're building our own boots with blackjack and hookers. Alright, and now let's just uh, hold out here until we can safely set up this little circle colony of ours. And that should make life a lot more a lot easier for us. Okay, I think we have stabilized with this outpost destroyed, that should ease the pressure a lot. And we have oh we have a big mineral surplus. So let's establish our defense here, some fountain cans. And we slowly establish. But those are goons over here because they do seem to be still sending in forces for some reason. Like they really do not want to give up this base. Which I think is a little weird, but okay. Let's just also prepare an expedition to move upwards to clear our temple. Let's target over here. Because if they are also going to send a lot of attack to clean us out, then I think it's very interesting if we can. Oh, there's still a. Oh, oh, oh. If they're going to send a lot of attack, then I think it's very important that we also uh, protect our colonies, you know? Okay, we got our second hatchery. I hope you guys are ready for some. Zerg Protoss defenses. Yeah, I think we are uh, pretty much on here. We are going to build a second hatchery. Because we got the economy to spare. Because we got the economy to spare. Right. You guys start moving up. Alright, overlords. Forgot about those. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. 
Yeah, Red's going to be asked to visit very soon, I think. I'm not, I'm wondering if they've got a second base. It's not really relevant right now, but let's just uh, brute force to these tank defenses for now. My life yeah, no, we are well covered. You move to an extractor, and you can hold some bullets. Okay, this uh, cone is well protected. Can we upgrade some stuff? Oh no, it's still upgrading. So for now, let's go. Yeah, I yeah, threw them into the <laughs> threw them into spore crawlers. Not the best idea. Okay, let's see if we can clear the courtyards and establish our own next eye over here. Oh, yeah, no, this time we came prepared, so we can fall back to the pocket cannons so they can, can take a new guard. Upgrades, almost done. Okay, let's now focus on the ship upgrades, once we are going to definitely build our arbiters and carriers. So, fleet beacon right over here. Yes, but you guys and guess. Let's have you guys build more drones and stop using minerals and upping our tech. Let's also start, gonna start moving over here. So we can start building our projects. Okay, I think I'm going to like. If they're going to assault from every angle, which I think will be. Well, shucks. Orange is really not letting up, are they? I'm just going to take this heavy resistance as a compliment. Now target these sucking colonies. It's going to attack move across the fields and that should take out everything. Ooh, Brown is also dropping their stuff it seems. They are all prepared for an attack. Now, if you would be so smart not to like drop one at a time then it would help out a lot. Spawning pool, drone, and more drones. Wow, you guys are really desperate for this base, aren't you? We are under attack. Let's start building our pylons over here. And deploy more salts over here. My life I can make these defenses overlap actually. Build a creep colony. Build a creep colony. I might control this one. Thank you. And more drones. There we go. Oh, we still need more Zerg tech to uh, construct these things. That's true. So let's have you hatch into an evolution chamber. We want our Zerg to be strong, but not too strong, of course. Let's get you into a lair. And so far, so good. Second colony, second colony, and our second colony. And let's transform into a hard basic then. The creep seem to have, seems to have almost receded. Let's put some photon cans over here. To form the main bulk of our defense. And build. Yeah, let's just build another one over here and wait for the script to recede. That will clear that sooner than later, you know. And upgrade to our last level little plasma sheets. Drag them along. Get the max interceptors upgrades and then work on some carriers. The minerals almost city have dried up, so we can start transferring pro um, drones. probes over here once this is done as well. Pound over here. Let's also add some production structures over here, like some gateways. You upgrade the melee attacks. No. Yeah, right. Okay, let's. We should look at this one. Strike force for this one. How are they dropping this? Is there another base over here? Well then, let's investigate. And the answer is... No? No, Danes. Alright. 
Okay, we are spending a good amount of minerals. That's very good because we get. Oh my. Oh, that's actually a bit problematic. That's uh, very. Right, where's our tennis? Our tennis, I need you, my boy. Oh, yeah. I am ready. Great. Go to the north. The guardians seem to be the no move north. The guardians seem to be distracted by uh, that hunking hulk of a gateway. So I'm not too worried about that particular. But the Artemis does have to get there as soon as we can save it. That would be ideal. Which he won't. That's unfortunate. But that does still mean a significant air force to deal with their eventual guardian attack. Hey, the creep has receded, so let's plop down an axis over here. And then you start building interceptors. Okay. I'm going to have the Protoss uh, protect all three flanks while the. I mean, the Zerg pr protect. No, the Protoss protect all three flanks while the Zerg set up a stack defense site over here. We're going to need some more force for that, of course. This hardless range is pretty practical. I'm going to send you guys over here. So, the speed has been upgraded. Let's build a second evolution chamber. And get some hive tech out here. Drones and more drones. Oh, that's a first. Ah, really? Just out of range of the Fortune Cans. Man, these Zerglings are hitting pretty hard. Oh, yeah, we are slowly beating out, aren't we? I mind control you. There we go. Thank you for your minds. Stuff. Build a simulate over here. And build a simulate over here. I am ready. I, no, I'm not going to uh, insert you minds. Alright, we got all our shield tech, which is great. Let's build some more fun. Oh, we are really. Let's build some more fun cans over here. These are well entrenched because the millions don't have as easy as time gang to these. <laughs> nice try, jerk face. Yeah, you guys need to go into minerals. We got plenty of gas. I'm very happy about that. So, let's continue improving our economy on the Zerg's base. And also start pumping out some probes over here. You have not enough put you in gas, even though I have plenty of gas. And let's also start transferring some of these probes to these mineral lines. I'm also going to get some boots the, over there. Okay, so far. Root. Yeah, Red does not appear to be giving up hits. They probably have some island base somewhere. I don't know. But that does give us the perfect opportunity to go into a hive. Oh, don't worry. Now we are prepared. 2-2? Two, two? Oh, that's actually pretty strong. So we fall back so the cells can engage. And the cells will engage pretty well. Good job. Yeah, running back home to mother. Okay, I'm just going to grab one drone. Your choice one and start plowing down the hatchery right over here. So we can guck up this little site over here. Yeah, this is going very well for now. But we haven't reached the end game yet, because once this temple activates, that's when the real stuff begins. So how is our economy going over here? Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, transfer you guys. 
Let me grab two of you and then we turn over here. Stay in your will. Grab this. Okay. Let's start building up an economy over here and start filling up these entrances. Cause this is an island, right? If I remember the last if I remember the third mission in this campaign correctly, yeah, this is an island. That means that we have to can this up very well and get a nice scouting force to make sure that we can keep the skies clear of any drop overlords or guardians that might deal heavy damage to our defenses. So once these are in place, that's what we can swoop in. I was going to move Over there, and upgrade the armor of our Zerg's force as well. So they're at least up to par with the enemy, no? Really now? Yeah, we just, uh, have been nice here. Thank you. And Burrow and Burrow once again over here. Yeah, they are moving in for an assault. Let's put more pounds. Let's pop in a few more pounds over here. And build these cannons. Can over here. Can over here. Pile over here. That's what I like about the portals. You can just plop down lots of stuff and nobody's going to complain about it. They seem to be marking an attack though, so not very appreciative of that. Move up north. Oh, yeah, that's a soul attack. I would like to have some air infrastructure actually. Oh, they are free too. Yeah, they are almost up to par of our quotas, so it's quite essential to get this mission moving along quite nicely. Pull this cannon, pull this cannon as well. We open these pylons. Meanwhile, you guys keep sending in scouts because now we got the resource to do it. Pop down a few cans over here for the end base defense. Yeah, no, the Zerg base is pretty safe. How about over here? Oh, okay. We're going to start building out these drones. We got a few slave. I'm going to call them the slave brutes for the simple reason that they are really doing our bidding right now and they normally should be on the enemy's side. And actually, if do like separate supply chains and two separate like supply things. This mission should go fairly easy. Thank you for the few supply. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh. What? Oh no. Please don't do this to me. What's this? Is Oh boy, keep our tenants in, inside of those turrets, please. I just came in and like took out one entire camera, like, yeah, we're satisfied. Yeah, okay, no, their attacks are getting quite massive. Okay, the Zerg on their own should be able to hold this site quite well. They have proven to themselves to be quite stalwart defenders, so I'm going to keep relying on that little thing. That little factoid. Oh, now you decide to drop stuff. Oh yeah, those devourers can permanently cripple my defenses by, setting, by using plague and setting that whole thing on fire. Let's start sending more Hydralisks and Zerglings over there. 
I will hold them responsible for the main entrance in this case. And Burrow, I put you guys over here. And I transform. Oh, yeah. Hydalisk transforms from Lurkers. I mean, Lurkers go from Hydalisk. Right, I'm, already, I'm really getting everything mixed up on them. Ship on level 1. Oh, I built a second one for apparently no reason. Okay, I can transfer you guys up north. I'm going to a lot more forces in order to defend this thing. I'm going to max out on the uh, portal supply for this one. They keep bleeding in those scouts and carriers, which is fine. I'm going to transfer you guys as well. Yeah, it's just like transfer school the game, except it's on a planet with Protoss and Zerg. No, this is not an accurate depiction of high school, don't you worry. Hey, you warping some military infrastructure. Stargates and stuff? Yes, please. Let's get you warping in some cannons as well. These minerals are almost drained. You might need to tune to spore colonies. Flop you down. Nice and two over here. So our defenses are coming out quite nicely. There's still a little weak spot over here. If I can like take out as many of their like Droppers as possible, then my infantry will have a little bit less pressure. Okay, so this is my other defense layer. These are two major weak spots, but I can weak spots, but I can't build anything in there. So I have to compensate with scouts that that those locations. And get more robotics bay. Robotics facility, excuse me. Great, okay, our Zergs are almost up to power of the enemy Zerg. Once that happens, I'm confident that we can succeed in this mission without struggling too much. Put some Hylix over here. Put the can over here. You're gonna have to make a little detour for your manuals, that's okay. I don't think there's a lot of room to uh, drop over here, so I'm not going to engage in that. I got a lot of gas. Still the gas. So I uh, am. Yeah. I'm actually like really prepping up for this mission because I don't want the defense to go badly. No, I think this is actually plenty of troops. We got a small Zerg strike force over here that can hold this line, which are practically maxed. We got plenty of potent cannons. I got two lines of defense. I'm just going to do a little flavor defense over here. Get some dragoons to just put some dragoons on the high ground over here to overlook the whole site. Once that's done, I'm confident we can hold the line against the Zerg. We got a strike force of scouts right here. They can take out any gardens in case they appear. Okay, Dennis, get in there. The Urash is secured. Your command. Wait, where is Turtle? Oh, here you are. I know these bases are bound to fall quite soon without any infantry support. Oh! Let's move you guys over here as well. There you go. We got a nice line of cannons. Let's just fit a few more in here. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's our cue to activate the objective. We are under attack. And not you here. That's the turtle in here. Let's do this. Executor. Zeratul and I will begin to channel the temple's energies. You must prevent the Zerg from destroying the temple while we work. 
I don't be with you, Executor. Don't worry, our defense are up and they're pretty tight as well. 50 minutes? Well, that should be, uh, we can do that. That's just uh, for everything clues as we keep uh, protecting our temple over here. So now the Zerg will be going all out on us, right? Oh, they've, they've already begun this. Yeah, it's alright. This base can fall. But there is a lot of technology in here though, so I'm going to just uh, build some reserves up, you know what I'm saying? I hope that feet beacon right in here. Because we're bound to lose Okay. We are slowly messing for attacks, seen gathering at the edges. Where's my scout squad? There it is. They're probably harassing my outdoor bases. My overlord now. Yeah, that's right, you can clear this little side out. I don't mind that at all. Zerg still holding strong, as it should. We well, could actually just build a nice canal so I can ferry troops from my Zerg base to there. And they constant reinforcements. You know, they're really. Uh oh. No, 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 you're not supposed to do that. You are an intercepting force, not a combat force. Okay, we lost one base. Oh, th this actually took significant amount of damage. I just uh, broke a few more creep gun. No, alright, I think this base will get annihilated pretty soon. We are under attack. They are gunning it from our other bases, which is fine. They are meant to be destroyed anyway. There's still, still 12 minutes left in the clock though, so... Catch it. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, scouts, move in. These guards are going to strike our defenses. We cannot allow it to happen. Oh, I didn't do the speed upgrades. Silly me. Really now. Can you like spy him down? Thank you. We lost a lot of troops over here actually. I think this defense is almost broken. Orange is hitting us pretty hard. That's my strike force. Oh here it is. Please don't use a pylon. Please don't use a pylon. Let's try and rebuild these cannons. The ground pressure is alleviating. Orange is not making a lot of progress over here. Oh, they're getting slaughtered. Yeah, no. We uh, pretty much held our ground over here. So far, so good. I'm going to set the exit. Oh, no. No, I think that might be it for uh, for Zerg. Yeah, no, I think it's this a little bit too much. Yeah. Okay, orange and brown run together, that's a little too much. Okay, but this line is still holding. So let's dump out everything we can out here. Out here. Right, probe, keep holding cannons. Okay, this side has been doing very well. They have not been touched at all. But I think once our expansions fall, that's when brown might bring, start putting some pressure on our borders over there. Okay, let's put you guys in here. Oh, you don't have an exit yet. Oops. Let's exit you guys over here. Hopefully it will build fast. Oh, I don't think it will be fast enough, actually. I can't bury you guys, right? No, you just keep... You guys keep mining minerals until the death. Oh, we have successfully built rebuild a cannon line. I don't think they are uh, gonna burst in, in here anytime soon. Oh no. 
that's a little too late for that. Okay, with Brown once again. You know, our slave hype cluster will fall quite soon. But we are over half time, so that's very good. Okay, where are my scouts? Here they are. Okay, I think um, my four star sites are still holding strong, provided I can make sure these scouts stay alive. I can keep these scouts alive, we should be fine. We also make sure that we do not... We got a fleet beacon, right? No, we do not have fleet beacon. Let's keep up on some break points. Oh, here's a rest. Yeah, these guardians are going to uh, peel back my defenses, so I'm going to rebuild them as quick as they get destroyed. Okay, hello, Joe, certainly. So, uh, anything that comes true has to be fought against immediately. I got a decent batch of infantry in my inner courtyard. So that's not the issue. Oh, we actually are moving on quite nicely. Okay, let's um, make a run for it back to the temple. Let them keep chewing on my other bases. So I'll buy more of time. Because the only thing I need is time. I know that. Oh no. Oh my scouts, now my scouts. Move south, take out that batch of the guardians. Can you mutate, uh, yeah, build a spawning pool and then build a high risk then while my scouts arrive? Fleet beacon, upgrade the movement speed of my scouts. That way they will be more effective at intercepting the enemy attacks. Or oh, they took a lot out of a lot of stack defenses. I really do hope that this not cause me to uh, cripple the southern border. Yeah, no, we are out of distraction bases right now. Okay, guys, this is it. This temple. Oh my god, can you. I can't control that. Thank you. We restock these cannons. I'm well aware that they will slowly try to pull up out again. Oh, we only have 3 minutes left on the clock. Oh, they destroyed my, my last forge. Oopsie daisy. Kind of essential. Yeah, no, the southern board has been heavily weakened. I mean, the eastern board has been heavily weakened. Where are my dragoons? Let's put two guys in here. Well, these old lists will surely help out, actually. Here. Oh, oh, we're losing ground very quickly. Move in for the attack. We have this carrier for a reason. So that it's carried. Oh, we actually lost almost. How did it get that so so quickly? Okay, scouts come and sit. I'm going to pull away some zerglings and some. No, actually. Oh no. This is not. This is not going very well. I'm basically breaking down every flank. Okay. They have my auto defense and the compromise. Let's pull. They just swap. Okay, I lost my sorry. Nice score as well. One minute, two left. Can I. Yeah, I can get you. Just to slow down their merciless advance in this one. I'll target the guardians. Move south. You know, the sign's breaking as well. One minute, guys. Come on. We got this. Let's pull the probes. Yeah. Or at least leave it the air pressure. Oh, wait. Um, wow, that was actually a terrible play on my part. The double is under attack. We still have one minute left to defend it. How did I... Am I too lazy for this? I still got 40 seconds. And Temple's pretty tanky, so... 30 seconds! Oh, it's unpowered. Uh oh. Move up, move up north. Protect the temple. Still got 20 seconds. Temple's beating out though. 
Can I do anything to slow them down? Six, five, four, three, two, one. We don't have anything left, sir. Too. Oh. Wow. I sucked. <laughs> but the mission has been successful, so that's that. Now let's watch that cutscene. has been saved. Barely. We only got a few drones, uh, I mean probes, one zealot and one shuttle to rebuild it with. But Shakuras is saved. Or rather has been saved. Alright then, that was a Protoss Boot War campaign. Last mission, nail biting. I did some micro, I'm, I did some bit micro failures, I admit. I thought the cans were going to be enough, but they barely did the job, and my current infantry was also obliterated in minutes. I didn't even see half the battle, but my Zerg Brute Slave did very well. Next up is UAD campaign, but I'll, I'll leave it for another episode. If you like what you saw, why like the video and subscribe for more content. That is all, I'm your host Malgaris and I'll see you next time. Bye!